Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing it is that we have a God that we can change our position with him. Oh, what a grateful thing we are here with Nugget Corner and we just out here today and we just had a just something to bring you. Listen, something that's precious that you can hold on to, that you can use over and over and over again to enhance your walk with the man Christ Jesus. Listen, have you ever been so caught up or, or maybe so uh, confused or even maybe so ashamed? Shamed or so hurt that you didn't even want to turn to the Lord. Maybe you've been in the position where you didn't even want those church people to see you. Maybe you've been in the position that you didn't want to talk to the pastor. Or maybe you've been in the position you didn't want to talk to grandma or grandpa because you know what you had done was, was, was out of your character. You know that you knew better. You know that what you had done was against God Almighty himself. But you didn't want them to bring it up. You didn't want them to point it out. You didn't want nobody to point their fingers. You didn't want nobody to say anything about it. You didn't want nobody to chastise about uh, to you about it because you know that the wrath of God is upon you. You know that God's wrath was true. You know that God's wrath is direct and he's justified in his wrath. So you don't even want to uh, uh, talk about it because you, it makes you seem like that you're telling God to come on and bring your wrath. Listen, and God's wrath is upon you so that you already feel the hand of God. You already feel God bringing judgment upon you. You you already, and you just don't know what to do about it. You see the wrath of God coming because of your placement. You can see it coming. What do you do? <laughs> Listen, there's a story in the Bible about a king and a prophet. <laughs> the king name was Hezekiah. The prophet name was Isaiah. Isaiah is sent to this king by God to tell him, listen, get your house in order. You're going to die. It is time for you to die. God said so. Now, when the king hears this, he don't get upset with Isaiah. He don't try to uh rebuttal with Isaiah. He don't do anything like that as Isaiah turns and walks away. The Bible says he turns toward the wall. You see, when you are in the midst of the wrath of God, when you are in that situation or circumstances, sometimes you need to turn away, repent, and then hear from the Lord. Turn your situation around and let God change it. And the Bible tells us that he begins to pray. And when he prayed, Isaiah got stopped and sent back to him and told him 15 more years. Listen, sometimes it feel tough for you. Sometimes it feel hard for you. Sometimes it feel that everything is against you. But listen, you can change it by turning from your ways and turning unto the ways of the man, Christ Jesus. And watch God deliver. Well, we're so grateful and thankful for you all. Listen, don't forget to share the video with family and friends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know when you were feeling that way, when God was, felt like the wrath of God was upon you, felt like everything was coming up against you. Let us know. And then we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the ARK, A-R-K, of O-F, the 
T-H-E Covenant, C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T Ministry, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, the number two, and you'll see our symbol right there that says, being an instrument used by God to reach those that cannot reach up. Don't forget to click there and subscribe. Don't forget about our podcast on Spotify. On Spotify, we got the Ark of the Covenant Ministry uh, podcast there, but we also got a brand new one entitled Covenant Man of Honor. It's for men, women, boys, and girls.